Hey, this is Joshua Jarvis with AtlantaShortSellListings.com and AvoidAtlantaForeclosure.com as well as a bunch of other sites that you're probably going to see in the coming weeks and months. I um, really want to get the information out there about what's going on in our market, what's going on with short sales. Uh, it's much, much, much easier than it used to be with short sales. And I don't really think the message is getting out there that, um, you know, it's something like 80% of the market in Gwinnett County alone is distressed. Um, and that's just with what we know. So, I mean, the number could be as high as 90%. So, but today I'm going to talk to you about Bank of America. I wanted to give you the update for Bank of America. And first of all, I just want to give you our take. And our take is in the past three years, Bank of America has gone from one of the worst, one of the worst short sale companies to deal with as far as a bank and a servicer to one of the best. Um, we're actually getting updates, um, you know, on a monthly basis about their department. Hey, well, here's what we're doing. Here's what we're trying to do to improve short sales. We're also getting... Um, uh, a smoother process online. Now you still have to keep your numbers and your escalation tactics um, available so that you can still escalate those files as an agent. But uh, if you're a homeowner and you have Bank of America, do not stress out. This process is much simpler ever since they went to the equator system. And so uh, the process goes something like this. Um, you've made a decision. Ideally, you would talk to us um, and then move forward with the short sell. But let's just say for whatever instance uh, you've decided that you want to take matters in your own hand and start ahead of time, you'll call them and tell them that you'd like to do a short sell. Now there's a bunch of different options and I'm not going to bore you with the details, but basically the rule of thumb still applies that most banks don't really care about your situation as far as a short sale is concerned unless you have an offer. So they may even tell you, like if you're trying to postpone a foreclosure, they may even tell you, great, we can do that. Here's the 13 forms we need. Well turns out that three of those forms are buyer related and so if you're going to do uh, going to do a short sell you do need a buyer and now the eggs the, uh, the one sort of caveat to that is if it's a uh, FHA short sell for instance um, they can start that ahead of time and if there's there's other programs as well where they'll start ahead of time without a buyer but you definitely need to hit go you know start as soon as you start missing payments is really the best time to start the short sell um, but once that process is started, you call them, they're going to ask you who is your listing agent. So you do need a real estate listing agent. Hopefully you choose us, the Jarvis team. But uh, if not, choose someone who has closed with them before because although the process is much, much easier now, um, it's important that you get someone who knows what they're doing, especially if you hit any roadblocks. Um, and occasionally there are roadblocks with uh, Bank of America. Anytime you use software in place of a person, you're going to run into roadblocks. And then the, and the agent can take the process. The process is still very, very similar. They're still going to do the evaluation. They're still going to negotiate, uh, you know, for the highest possible net for themselves. And so that process still takes place. Um, what makes it easier is that one, it's happening sooner, and two, they're using Equator. So again, if you're uh, using, if you're a seller with Bank of America, uh, you know, good news is is that I'd say if I had a top ten list, Bank of America would probably come in number four maybe number three. Um, I'd have to really give that some thought if they got number three, but uh, you know, four or five, definitely the top lenders versus you know being on the worst list. Um, the other thing that you're going to notice is that on our, um, you know, just as a final note, on our site, lendershortsellelistings.com, we're going to have a page specific for each lender. And there'll be contact information on each of these pages. Um, also, I'm going to ask that you put comments on this YouTube video down below or on our page there and ask your questions about um, the short sale process, about whatever it is. If you are an agent and you're watching this, please feel free to do the same. Ask us questions. We want to make sure that more homeowners are uh, avoiding foreclosure. But as a last note, this is specific to Georgia in that it may be different in your state. We don't really know. Um, we think this information is pretty, pretty sound across all states. But uh, we do get a lot of questions from people in other states about uh, the short sale process or what's the best phone number to call and all that. And uh, to be honest with you, um, it might uh, it might be different in your state versus ours and the servicing guidelines and what they can do. So um, they can foreclose on you in 30 days here. So make sure that as soon as you start missing payments, that's the best time to call Bank of America in particular. So. Um, if you have any other questions, again, comment below, send me an email, visit me online at AtlantaShortSellListings.com. And if you want to buy a Bank of America short sale, 
give us a call as well or visit us online at georgiahomesdigest.com. Thanks for watching.